Investigators are still not revealing whether the man charged with killing a local nurse practitioner in a garage at Freighter Hospital knew her. As a search as they search for clues continues, Katie Crowther explains how Carly's family is tracking something else closely. Carly Bowden's family jokes that the only thing the 33 year old loved more than being a nurse was her dog, Baloo, a rescue pup. That's why her family set up memorial donations to the Wisconsin Humane Society. They never expected in less than two days more than $7,000 would already be donated in Carly's honor. One of the things we've been doing is just refreshing the page over and over to see how much money Carly's memory has raised. And it's really amazing to see how many people. Uh, really care about her and her memory. Leah Watson considered Carly much more than a sister-in-law. Carly was my best friend. I live about a two-minute drive from her, so we were together a lot. I used to call her my life coach. She was the person I would ask for advice whenever I needed it. It's been difficult as more details come out about Carly's death and the man accused of killing her. According to the criminal complaint, Ken Freeman hid behind a pillar, grabbed Carly as she was walking to her car, then brutally beat her and left her for dead. Later telling police he deliberately and purely murdered Miss Willa. But we still don't know who Miss Willa is or if Freeman ever had previous contact with Carly. Her family trying to block all of that out and focus on how Carly lived, not died. She had absolutely no capacity for negativity. She wouldn't want me or anyone else to dwell on the negative aspect. We do know that just last year, Ken Freeman was fired by the valet company Freighter Used. Now, if you'd like to donate to the Wisconsin Humane Society in Carly's honor, just click on the link to this story at TMJ4.com. Shannon and Charles.